Hello and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to be bringing you three matches. Two in two tier 7s and one in a tier 8. Um, we're going to have um, the tier 7 Italian. Uh, and then next we'll be having the tier 7 Polish. Both the ones I am going up the uh, line of at the moment. Uh, we're in my, on mines. So um, we've come up to the middle ground here. And it looks like my team... It's going to go down to the one, two, three line. Um, hoping some will come up to the um, middle and get pushed. For some odd reason, they just can't go around me. They've just got to go through me. Anyway, our light tank has suicided into the enemy team. Mm, great. So we take up this position. There's no artillery, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, take a speculative shot because uh, we saw someone around there must have ducked back uh, this guy is retreating by the looks of things missed again and then that KV gets lit up again um, so yeah the shots are going a bit wild but we yeah, and we bounce and we bounce uh, um, which is um, annoying since the first three shots of the game um, we set the KV-1 on fire. I think he's uh, AFK. I'm not 100% sure. He moved from his initial position. And that's a dangerous tank. He's tracked. And he's almost dead now anyway. Uh, but he's uh, it's, yeah top tier at the moment um, in this game. So um, obviously that tier 7 is uh, TD. is one of the most dangerous tanks in the game. Uh, want to take care of that guy as soon as possible uh, he's the only one that can give me a big old uh, hit so we, we don't want to get hit by him um, yeah so not sure how this game has come about really uh, we should be losing this game uh, but it's and we are just one tank down because we are stuck in the middle uh, and at the back of the map uh, the enemy team is at the back of the map. They're on both the flanks, so this normally would be game over, right? But we're equal, equal team at the moment. Yes, and we get hit by that tier seven, and that capture KV one's going to actually be a bit more of a pain than I uh, first hoped. Uh, he's tracked me. He's going to. Yeah, that guy's giving me a bit of pain. I'm using my repair kit and um, I'm going to have to use my um, first aid kit as well because it's taken out my driver. We're actually winning now. Uh, I'm not even sure how, how that's happened. That E25 has taken two big hits there. So, uh, yes, he's still very dangerous because of his camo and his high rate of fire and his good pen. But we sh we're looking okay now. We are definitely uh, ahead on tanks. Uh, they've still got two dangerous... Oh, no. That other Tier 7 TD must have got taken out. So we've got the E25. Um, and I don't know what else we're facing. But uh, unfortunately, I'm on a bit of a lo low health here, really. I wanna be, should, would have liked to have been a bit high, um, just above maybe half at this point. Um, but we're facing... Um, this jack, uh, jackal, is it? Uh, he's kind of pinned. He can't push out because there's guys on the hill there. And that guy's pushed. Slow down a bit. Get that hit in. Uh, and then we're going to try to come up behind uh, their base here. Um, and maybe I'm pushing a bit aggressively because there's only four tanks left. And we're going to win. Um, yeah, that cave is capture KV-1 is coming towards us yeah he's a pain because he's got such good DPM we managed to get a shot in yeah he's bouncing shots because we're angling here but yeah he's getting shots into us now yeah and we managed to take him out and he takes out our driver yet again so very annoying I don't know how he's just damaging all our crew um with captured KV-1 um, so we've got three tanks left and that E25 is still out there um, 
So we're going to try to come up out behind, but will our driver let us at this speed? And then, then we see there's a full health IS. IS. We take out the IS. Uh, uh. Now this IS is going to be a big old pain. Um, I'm going to hope that my team's going to support me here, but they look like they're going to be sat on that hill. And then there's, there's a TD back at our base. I don't know what he thinks he's going to accomplish. Uh, basically, if I get hit by this thing, I'm pretty sure he could take me out, if he's, depending on what, what gun he's got. Um, so we don't really want to take a hit here. We do hit him, and we're getting assisted damage here. So it's all good. We've kind of rushed that. Almost, almost got the killing shot on that. And yeah, he's pretty much dead now. And yeah, nice, nice finishing shot. We get the old four kills. We get over two thousand damage. Um, it's almost what was that assisted? Over five hundred, wasn't it? I think it was either six hundred or nine hundred. Right, oh, yeah, eight hundred. We got first class. We got because we got. Well, a lot of damage there. We've got f a lot of ex XP um, compared to our closest competitor. Um, yeah, no, that was a good game. That was a good game. Um, obviously, top tier. This, as you know, if you if you're a decent player and you're top tier, it doesn't really matter too much what tank you're in. I mean, as long as it's fully upgraded, you know, uh, you're gonna. You're going to do damage to the enemy, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so that was a nice match. Uh, well, we're going to go straight into the Polish Tier 7. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, and, yeah, we're on Pilsen. We're in our Tier 7 um, Polish Heavy. Uh, and we're going to go to our usual spot. And this is going to pay off very nicely. Um, even though... At this point, I think, uh, well, I'm going to miss most of the tanks c going across at this point because uh, we spawned slightly farther away than we normally do. Uh, but we're going to go this way anyway and just see what happens. And we spot an M4, and he is going out into the middle. I don't know what he's doing. I, I, have no, I don't think he knows what he's doing. So we spot someone else, and that M4 has spotted us. But he ain't going to have a chance to fire. We take him down. That's 400 damage. Um, I, that's a, um, again, I think not quite loaded. Not quite loaded. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's trying to push into my spot, I think. That leopard's going to be a bit of a pain. Um, but he's going to have find it very tricky to um, pen me. We're already 2-1 up. Um, looks like the 9-0 line is... Um, pretty empty from both sides um, I was hoping that tank was going to be a little bit closer but he was actually behind those metal containers so that doesn't go in now at this point I'm thinking uh, yeah maybe we should push down to the one yeah dipped a little bit too much, didn't get a hit. Well, our team is being very aggressive, but I don't know why they're going into the middle here. It's not really a good idea. We managed to get a hit into that 34, 85. He's trying to get side shots in. Uh, that Tiger we've got to be careful of. Uh, and that Craft Panther as well. We managed to track him, which is kind of unfortunate. We want to we wanted to damage him and track him. Um, no one for some reason there's like four other tanks looking at him no one damaged him in the time he was tracked although he did obviously quickly repair it looks like we're getting pushed from the 99 at the one two line um so i am definitely considering um yeah this guy i don't know what he's doing anyway yeah now he's oh, whatever um it looks like we've got an AFK heavy on our cap as well, which is great. Um, yeah, he's uh, realised the threat a little bit too late. He's got over half his health is gone. Um, yeah, I'm going to push now because 
doesn't matter if you take take a hit. There we go, finish him off right in the side. That leopard is now coming up. Um, but he's not really doing what he should do and come around to the flank, but he might be luring us to this T French TD here. We take a big old hit into them. It's going to take at least two more hits to kill that guy. But he's pulling back, and that leopard is pretty eager to hit me. Um, we managed to take a massive hint, hit into the, his side. He should be trying to come up behind us or just pull him back. But he didn't do it in time. And that French guy's uh, just fired. Uh, now I am going for him because I can take a hit, and I do take. Uh, a pretty good hit. Hit his weak spot. One more hit. He's trying to angle, and yeah, he managed to panic and shoot into my turret, side of my turret. Uh, he's just trying to block my shot, but ain't. It's not going to be enough. He's done 2,500 odd damage. Got four kills. And there's just two more tanks remaining. Um, and we had a AFK guy for the whole game, so. And I don't think our team played particularly well. Uh, just, just paid off them being super aggressive. Uh, we're gonna. This craft is from full health. We're gonna try to get the track, and we do. And yeah, we're gonna try to reload and take another hit, uh, full on hit into him. And there we go. We get almost most of his health there, or well, just under three thousand uh, damage, five, almost six hundred assisted. Um, how many kills was that? Four? Four? Five? So that's bound to be a... Yeah, four. Bound to be a first class, if not a mastery. Um, yeah, we got a good old... Yeah, again, we've got 1,500 odd uh, um, XP. Com uh, beating our highest competitor by quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know what it takes to master this thing. Um... I thought that would might be might have been a mastery there. Um Yeah, and we're gonna go into my tier eight Ragnarok game in the next one. Uh and that's pretty pretty damn good game. And Duke Pass is where we're having it. Um I do like this thing. Uh accuracy can be a bit over the all over the place to be honest. Uh but it's gonna work out well for me here. Um and quite honestly, I thought this was going to be um, a loss. Um, not in the same, uh, not in the same way as the last one. Um, just the, at the beginning, it goes into a total lemming train. Uh, everyone seems to go down to the one-two line, uh, and I prefer to go down to the JK, the JK line, um, at JK nine and zero line. Um, Obviously, got to stop them from uh, flanking, and that, this is where I kind of realised that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, actually, no, no. A lot of people come this way. Fair enough. I must have uh, misremembered it. Um, I was. I don't know why I'm not pushing a bit more. Maybe, maybe I did think most of the, uh, the, uh, our team went the other way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're we're on this flank and we are playing a bit quite defensively, which is not usually my thing. But um, there we go. Our first customer missed dirt, went into the dirt that shot, and next to. Right, so I can't pull back because there's loads of people here. Now, I'm actually considering relocating from this very packed area. We've got a long, quite a long time to wait for our reload. Um, so that's kind of what you want to do is make sure every shot really hits when you're in an auto loader. Uh, and it, this has not got the worst uh, reload time, that's for sure. But um, our team, yeah, that is that is one thing. Usually... If you want to win, uh, you've got to push and basically gain half the half the map. At, um, and there we go, one of those stupid toy tanks uh, hit his engine and and track him as well. 
Uh, unfortunately, I think he survives this, uh, which is very unfortunate uh, since we got the track on him as well. And he is quite a dangerous tank. He's not. He can. He's got fairly decent armor, that thing, if I remember rightly. So we don't want to. Uh, so we kind of want him taken out uh, as soon as possible. But we're four and four at the moment. Um, I only got 1,500 so far. Um, and there's the RT is concentrating on that, on those three other guys. We are now one up, but again, our team just doesn't seem to be doing much. And we take him out. We've only got the one shot left. Um, and we take a big old hit because they are actually pushing on our cap. So I actually take a risk and push up here because I think these guys might be the only guys left on this flank. Looks like I don't know if we got two AFK guys, but there's two guys on. Uh, no, no, one of them's moving. Um, but yeah, there was two guys on a cap, and they spent the whole time um, on the cap. Great, great. Anyway, we stay here completely still uh, while we try to reload. Uh, we want to try to take out the rest of these guys here uh, so we can turn around because we don't want these guys shooting us in the ass um, and then yeah that medium is the main trouble here uh, yeah and he keeps pushing us side on here and then BAM so we've got one guy left and unfortunately he is, he is a good tank um, so I'm kind of trying to not uh, get spotted because the artillery and these guys behind uh, and actually I think well, we've got two or three tanks shooting that guy so let's go back and defend our base because it's getting it's getting rushed here and we are down a tank as well uh, and if they rush those two guys are going to be dead so we're going to be down a lot of tanks I'm trying to get a shot into this guy because we can get a shot into him but no we, we track him Ah, uh, we don't land that last shot, that killing blow. Uh, so we've got about 4,000 combined now, guys. Uh, and we've got two kills. It's been a pretty decent game so far. I probably would have shown this one anyway, even if it didn't get. Uh, I didn't have any more um, damage in this game. Um, but yeah, we've still got... I'm Unfortunately, got my sixth sense still going off. Um... IS-3 is a very dangerous tank. We want to take him out. We do. Uh, and that Goranich is going to be in right pain. We missed the last shot. Um, but we're almost up to 4,000 damage. We've got three guys left. Uh, we are now up on tanks. But that Goranich uh, is going to be a pain. Um, he gets behind that cover. Doesn't matter. And then we realise TD's right down. <sighs> right down next to us so we're gonna go up behind him and shoot him in the ass um, guaranteeing our pens really is all we want to do because we're not going to be able to pen this diamond back from the front very well at all um, and he's concentrate on those guys so we're gonna just set him on fire but unfortunately repairs uh, puts the fire out so we're at almost 5,000 damage considering ramming this guy and then I don't bother because that guy's going to get down there first um, now we're going to concentrate on the Goranich and trying to swerve around here uh, to avoid artillery because artillery could still ruin our game as we all know I'm fully loaded probably should have put Prem in but he's side on you're thinking we get one hit in he gets another hit in but we track him and we're hoping that the other guys will take care of him uh, while we're reloading. Sounded like artillery have just shot there. Got a bit of, bit of tiny bit of assisted. And then I realise, actually, let's... Well, these guys are concentrating on taking this guy out. Let's finish off the artillery to get our fourth kill. Um, now, unfortunately, they seem to do be having a bit more of a problem with the Goranich. I think they... There we go, it's finished. But we are considering where this artillery 
is there's two spawn points and they're completely different directions in in assault. Uh, so we're going to go to the first one. Um, in hindsight, um, it seems like a um, this was a bit silly. Uh, to be honest, actually, I've, it's not silly because um, during the actual match, I had no um, no shells come in towards me, um, so I had no idea where the where the artillery was. Absolutely no idea. So I presumed he might be um, since a lot of the team pushed this flank that the artillery was uh, was with them. Um, and to be honest, it probably would have done him a lot of favours being on the sides, considering a lot of our guys um, on this flank um, just sat there in the open. Um, but there, there's, he's not been spotted up. Um, so, yeah, he's obviously not this side. Now, obviously, I think, damn, it's too late now. No way I'm going to get to the um, the artillery before my allies do. So, fortunately, I'm not going to get any more kills. Um, but uh, I do actually get to him before he fully dies. Um, the thing is... Um, Artillery seems to have very good camo, and um, sometimes you have to be right next to it before you uh, you spot it up. Um, I can't remember if I... Uh, I no, I don't think I spot him up. Uh, so I think someone else spotted, spots him up. Um, so obviously we're going along here, seeing if he's sat right back at 9 and 0. Uh, a... A B nine zero uh, type area, but he's not either. And it's almost that time we're thinking, uh oh, we might actually let this guy live, um, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'm just going to go along this line. Might as well. And there he is, and he's fired. Take us. And we do. We managed to finish him off. We unfortunately didn't fully aim the first shot, but we wanted to try to take him out um, as quickly as possible. Uh, second shot hit and third shot. Ooh, just dipped in there and got uh, got the kill. So we managed to get what was that all together, guys? We managed to make over two hundred thousand silver, five thousand five hundred uh, plus damage, mastery, high caliber. Over a thousand assisted and four kills. Um, yeah, so happy with that mastery. And we've got almost a thousand more XP than our nearest competitor. Um, and they had they had a good bunch of people on their team as well, to be fair. There's a good five people with 2,000 odd damage there on the enemy team. So we were quite lucky to survive that game. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.